riches of people long to see your face. Behold her, her maiden companions are escorted to the king. Her attendants are escorted to you in gladness and joy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, I'm Father Stephen Imperato of Life Ministries US. Life Ministries US .org is the website uh, that you can access my ministries. We are celebrating the Mass and a presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary this morning. Thank you for joining us. This Mass will be offered for your intentions and my intentions and also for the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them in particular, your deceased loved ones and family members, and my deceased loved ones and family members. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May my God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of your most holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. The officers of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modin to organize the sacrifices. Many of Israel joined them, but Mattathias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Mattathias. You're a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and king. Come now, be the first to obey the king's command, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your son shall be numbered among the king's friends and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered in a loud voice, Although the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers and consents to the king's orders. Yet I and my sons and my king will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king, nor depart from our religion in the slightest decree. As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar in Modin, according to the king's order. When Mattathias saw this, he was filled with zeal, his heart was moved, and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Thus he showed his zeal for the law, just as Phineas did with Zimri, son of Salu. Then Mattathias went through the city, shouting, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me. Thereupon he fled to the mountains with his sons, leaving behind in the city all their possessions. Many who sought to live according to righteousness and religious custom went out into the desert to settle there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. God the Father has spoken some in the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. 
to the upright I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, fulfilling your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress, I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew new Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it's hidden from your eyes, for the days are coming upon you, when the enemies will rise a palisade against you, and they'll encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you, because they, you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we have uh, now, we are going through the books of Maccabees, uh, the two books of Maccabees that to our Christian brothers and sisters are Dudo canonical uh, for us, our Catholics, we, these are canonical books, divine revelation, and of course they should be, because we learn so much uh, from the book of Maccabees that pertains to our Catholic faith. One obvious one is, of course, uh, praying for the dead, uh, which we hear in one of the passages uh, but defending our faith, standing up for our faith, even to the point of death. And Jesus prophesies about the destruction of Jerusalem, which, of course, Jesus died in 33, and I think it was about 70, 72 A.D., 73 A.D., a mere 40 years, give or take, after Jesus' death, that the, the Jerusalem, the temple in Jerusalem, was destroyed by the Romans, never to be rebuilt. To this day, 2,000 years, the temple has not been rebuilt. I mean, if I was a Jew, I'd be reflecting on two things. That number one, from the time of Jesus prophesying that the temple would be destroyed, the temple has not been rebuilt. And from the time of Jesus, Jesus who called himself God, Messiah, I am who am, there's been no divine revelation from that time, right? The last divine revelation uh, to the Jews was the two book of Maccabees. Uh, but indeed, from the time of Jesus, there's been no divine revelation. Why? Because the Old Testament has been fulfilled, right, in the New Testament, in the coming of Jesus. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus may also be prophesying for each and every single one of us that we may need to defend our faith even to the point of death. We should see this around us. There are actually Christian persecutions all over the world. We hear about it every day. We should always pray for the persecution of the church, against the persecution of the church. Uh, pray that our Lord protects the martyrs. Uh, we know he protects them in terms of uh, grants them eternal salvation. Do we have the strength to defend our faith? Do we have the strength to lay down our lives for Christ and for our Catholic faith? This is a reflection that I think comes from Maccabees and even from what we hear Jesus weeping over Jerusalem. Is he weeping over us now, us Catholics now, our Christians now, as so many babies are dying from the scourge of abortion? 50 million worldwide every single year, 125,000 each and every single day. And so this on the great feast day, the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and I'd like to read about this uh, to you uh, what the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is all about. Be quiet! The Divine Liturgy, the Byzantine Liturgy proclaims, today is the prelude to God's munificence and the announcement of salvation in the temple of God, the Virgin, and the temple... Be quiet! 
and the announcement of salvation, the temple of God, the virgin is seen openly, foretelling to all the coming of Christ. The most pure temple of the Savior is pure, precious, bridal chamber, the virgin, sacred treasuries of God's glory, enters today in the house of the Lord, bringing with her the grace of the divine spirit. Wherefore the angels of God are singing, Behold the heavenly tabernacle. Wherefore let us cry out to her with all our strength, joy to you, fulfillment of the Creator's plan. Let us ask Mary, present in the temple, to take our poor offering into her maternal hands, to purify and complete it by her offering, so pure, so perfect, to include and hide it in hers, so great and so generous. All right, so this comes from Gabriel of St. Mary Magdalene, OCD. So the great feast day, the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Indeed, let us fly unto Mary and ask her for her intercession. The greatest prophet in the church from the ascension of our Lord has been the Blessed Virgin Mary. She is the tabernacle, the original tabernacle. She is the vessel by which Jesus came to us. Let us stay also close to Mary as, Jesus, as Mary will always direct us point us to her son and keep us close to him. Let us now ask for the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God's grace, God's mercy on all of our intentions. For the particular intentions of this Mass, which are your intentions, my intentions, for all the intentions we hold in our hearts and minds, for all those that we said we were praying for, including those who may forget to pray for, and for the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask for this. We ask for all good things through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. On this, the great memorial of her presentation in the temple. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness forever received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness, for you receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit, encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And with so angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, meant the willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Humbly we, therefore we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the age, may merit be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Praise the Lord our God, for in Mary is handmaid. He has fulfilled the promise of mercy to the house of Israel.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we, your devoutly honored and blessed Virgin Mary, may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm Father Stephen Abrado of LifeMinistriesUS.org. Uh, please follow me on social media. Check out my Facebook pages. Check out my website, LifeMinistriesUS.org. Thank you for joining us uh, today for the celebration of the Mass at I Love Jesus. Uh, please follow me at I Love Jesus uh, tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, U.S. Time. We'll do our Facebook Live. Let us now pray to St. Michael prayer. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave.